Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Today, I'm going to share with you what I intend to do with my students on the first day back to school. For me, what is most important on the first day is building community right from the jump. I want students to feel comfortable with one another, the classroom, and me, of course. For that reason, I intend to use this Find Someone activity sheet from Allison in Mis Clases Locas. I love this sheet so much because it truly allows students to build community right from the first day of class. This sheet involves students asking questions to one another in order to find out what students did over the summer break. Additionally, these questions are not elaborate, expensive questions in which a student would have to spend a whole bunch of money or have to have gone somewhere different in order to participate in the activity. These questions are basic everyday questions such as, did you use your cell phone? Did you watch Netflix? Did you play a sport? And these questions allow students of all backgrounds and of all experiences to truthfully participate in this activity. However, once this activity is completed, there are so many ways to alter the activity in order to expand this as well. After students have completed their sheet, you could have a full classroom discussion comparing two students and or comparing the teacher and the student. You could potentially have students do this in groups so that they get to work more closely with a peer. In order to drag out the community building even more, you can make it mandatory that each student can only use one other student to fill in the bubbles. So that way they have to talk to so many different people in order to complete their sheet. However, if you don't have so many students in your classroom, you could maybe make each student use only two other classmates for their answers. If you didn't have some sort of mandate like this, it could be possible for students to just talk with one student and complete the whole entire sheet, which is not what I want. And for that reason, I find this step to be crucial. Another way to kind of make this activity a bit more engaging is to have students complete a two truths and a lie activity in which they write down two things they did over summer and one thing they did not do over summer. After they complete those, I would go ahead and collect the submissions and I would read aloud the statements to the class. As a class, or maybe individually or in small groups, like a Jeopardy game or something, students would have to guess who submitted this statement. If you are doing all of these alternatives, you could potentially make this into an assessment two or three days later if you wanted a sort of a baseline for your students coming into the new school year. I'm not sure if I intend on doing that, but possibly. I'm not entirely sure yet. It depends on my students. And that is really what I intend on doing the first day of school. If you found this video useful, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Additionally, if you love this sheet as much as I do, I'm going to link Allison's website into the description. She makes so many awesome resources for educators. Please feel free to check out some of the other things that she does as well. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.